Hey everybody, it's Wendy with Passport Stampers. Today, let's talk about the food aboard the MSC Seashore. MSC has hit the cruise market pretty hard in recent years with their stunning ships and fabulous private island, but how's the food? Let's go stamping. I've been fortunate enough to have sailed on a few of the MSC ships since their launch, starting with the MSC Seaside. Let me tell you, the food has came a long, long way since then. All right, so for day one, we started off with the chicken croquettes, the tomato cream soup, and the shrimp cocktail. You have to have the shrimp cocktail on the MSC Cruise Lines. It is fabulous. Uh, with, for the mains, we then had the blackened grouper and the southern style chicken and waffles. Mm, they were awesome. Uh, my son then added on the lasagna and it was also great. And then for dessert, I had the creme Catalina and he had the New York style cheesecake. My kid absolutely loved the cheesecake and as you're gonna see, he had it many more nights to come. All of the food though was really, really good. We were really happy. Day two of our sailing was the gala dinner, which let me tell you, it did not disappoint. It featured a surf and turf, which is what I had, and our server was wonderful and got me two lobster tails along with my steak so that I didn't have to order two plates because I really didn't want two whole plates, just two tails. Uh, my son had the herb crusted lamb, which he absolutely loved, thought it was fabulous. And then we shared an order of the wild mushroom pappardelle, and it was it was okay. It just wasn't um, wasn't quite as saucy as as we're used to for a pasta, but it was still it was still pretty good. While we were between courses, we watched the waiter at the table next to us make two dolls out of napkins for the, the kids seated at the table and when he seen how much I loved them he made me one too. It was lovely. All right if you're keeping score here you might notice that there is no day three video or menu. Unfortunately my fun phone had died and so I had to leave it in the room so we're gonna move right on to day four. Day four was a bit of a sad day for me. Um, let me explain, completely my fault, no fault of MSCs. I have a, a pretty severe onion allergy and up until this point, I had been pretty successful in picking and choosing off the menu things that didn't have onions. Well, this day I kind of, my luck ran out. So I ordered their lovely, lovely mashed potatoes and no, that is not sarcasm at all. MSC does the best mashed potatoes. So while I had mashed potatoes, my kid had the steak Diane and the pulled pork mac and cheese. Unfortunately, the pulled pork mac and cheese was probably our least favorite dish the whole sailing. But I mean, live and learn, right? And this takes us to day five. Day five featured one of my son's favorite foods, the, the grilled swordfish. He absolutely adored it. I had the rotisserie chicken and it was really, really good. It was very tasty, juicy, not at all dry. It was very nicely done. And of course, more of the divine mashed potatoes. After all of that chicken, I then opted for the light Chantilly cream for dessert. And of course, the kid had the cheesecake again. Day six, we did our only specialty dining of the trip and that was at the Mexican restaurant. And you would think an onion allergy would be an issue on that. It was not at all. They even will make guacamole right at your table with a porter, mortar and pestle and you can do and add whatever you want. So onions weren't a risk. It was, it was really, really good. Highly recommend it. And this all takes us to day seven. 
So the kids started off with the marinated octopus and pickled vegetables. It was a bit of an interesting choice. He really liked it. I I wasn't so sure. Uh, I had the spring rolls, and let me tell you, I could have easily eaten four orders of them. They were so good, so crispy, absolutely wonderful. After that, I had the carbonara, and the kid had the meatloaf, which he actually really enjoyed. It was, it had a bit of a barbecue sauce on it, and it was really, really well done. It was very nice. So while MSC may not offer a lot of complimentary food options like specialty burger places, etc., they do offer some of the best pizza at sea and you can even get it poolside along with burgers and hot dogs. And they're more than happy to accommodate with special orders such as their luscious mashed potatoes whenever you want them, even if they're not on the menu. As an extra bonus to this video, I'm also including some shots of menus from the Lighthouse Bar as well as several drink menus. MSC does have super affordable drinks and their drink packages are very reasonable and come in varying packages so you can tailor them to your own likes.
you've enjoyed this peek into the food on the MSC Seashore, stay tuned for more videos and reviews. Mash that subscribe button while you're here so you don't miss any of our new content. Thanks, guys.